Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Velocitron Legacy Leader Class Scourge figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're then going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We're going to see how he displays with some other figures in the Velocitron toy line and of course we'll see how he compares with the original owner of this mould as well. Unfortunately, I can't do a direct comparison with the original figure as I don't own it. But what we are going to do first and foremost is have a look at this beautiful, beautiful artwork on the box. And it's just, it's really, it, they've done exactly what they needed to do with the nostalgia factor. You've got the flap at the top. You've got the pictures of them, as I say, in the robot mode. It's great. It really is good. And this box, to be fair, is quite a big size. It's nice and chunky. You've got a brilliant artwork there of Scourge looking fantastic if only we knew that the toy did actually fire from there that would maybe would be a little better um, artwork here obviously of the alternate mode we've got an actual stock image of the alternate mode there and i think on this side we're gonna have yeah we've got a zoomed in picture obviously of the bust of scourge on the back we can see obviously it's going to take 30 steps to transform but as i say we're already aware of this because this is just a redeco um of of course laser optimus prime from the legacy toy line right let's have a look inside and see what we've got now what they have been guilty of at the moment is although they've got rid of the plastic windows they've been a bit guilty of perhaps having way too much box space yeah, that's not too bad actually to be fair could have been far far worse what i mean by that is just having ginormous pair boxes for the actual smaller products inside so we can see that he look, oh, the color scheme already is really striking it looks great we've got all the weapons there we've got the instructions here as well so what i need to do obviously is set him free from there come right back to you and we'll do some first impressions and probably have a look at the base mode to be fair as it's come already in his truck so as you can see i've set him free from his packaging we've got the trailer we've got the main truck and we've got the couple of accessories and of course the instructions now funnily enough before we do some first impressions even though this has come in the truck mode it's come um mistransformed shall we say um, what, what you need to do to get it to be transformed properly into this truck mode is you need to lift these up which are the arms to be honest and then you've got these little tabs here and if you bring this right up you can see there's a tab there and the same on the other side like so and then when you push these down that will clip into position over the top like so and then the final thing you need to do is there's a little tab on these fuel tanks just bring these out but this is how it will come i'm um, sorry this is how it should look um, but not how it will come so i think we might as well do the first impressions with this while it's in this particular mode and i really like this mold i don't know why i just think it's very very good i love the fact that we've got the silver alloys and the black tires this little blue strip or bit of deco on it is fully reflective you can see here when it catches the light it's a bit more apparent same on the front lovely translucent pink in the windows there as well i mean i suppose if you want to be a little pedantic now of course you can see that the um fuel tanks are in fact obviously empty but it's not too bad i think you know it, it does what you want it to it looks great it looks kind of menacing i think the color scheme on it works absolutely fantastically it really does i prefer this greatly over the laser prime version and i was really really impressed with that the accessories that you get with it is this a huge sword and what we can do as well there's two tabs on this and there's two cutouts there on the back and you can see that you can store which again i think this is a brilliant brilliant way of doing things that you can store and this accessory as well if you fold this up you've got two cut two tabs there and you've got two cutouts on the back and i just really like it when you can store all the accessories of the things in the one particular mode like this uh, smokestacks as you can see are silver as well it would have been great and i've pretty much been saying this for ages you know if they could perhaps just use some chrome again but i, I doubt very much we'll ever see that used um in in normal figures again we're going to come back to this in a second here's the trailer and if you want to see some of the differences you can see straight away that of course they've got the red stripe down there whereas that's silver and it's just a bit of a darker yeah this is all black whereas this is all good metal gray so there's the main differences with that yeah you can see um the laser is again dark gray the scourge is actually black and everything else pretty much again 
um, is the same. And like I said, when I first took the set of box, this is a little disappointing. It is very light. It is very flimsy. Um, there's not much going on with it at all. Let me move this out of the way and we're going to change this into base mode and have a look at that. Right then, so let's take this into base mode. So let's just separate this bit from the front, lift this right up and out of the way for now. Open up this, fold this down there and bring that down as well. When we bring this over, you can rotate this 180 degrees because this is going to now be a platform. Fold out the gun, fold out that arm there and then you can turn this back as well. So this is the base mode. And as I say, it's not very impressive. Thankfully enough, there are loads of companies making 3D model kits um, and upgrade kits for all of this, which I think in honesty, it does really need. Um, again, I don't know why they did it. Um, it could have been so much better. It's not too bad, but it just could have been so much better. You've got full 360 degree rotation there. You can see you've got a little platform there. You can obviously put MicroMasters on. This gun on the back here does actually detach as well as you can see and to be honest you can then attach this if you wanted to to the cab so you've got guns on the side you can either go at the side of each leg i suppose you can pop it will it fit there no it does but it doesn't really do much and it falls out and of course on the front as well if you wanted to so anywhere there's a five millimeter port i'll tell you what that's where it'll look better straight away you can pop it on the roof um which again i think yeah i think that looks a lot lot better there you go that'll work or of course if you're on the main uh tank it if it's just in the full mode there is as i say this particular mode i have got a full transformation process video uploaded as well separately if you want to watch that because what we're going to do now we're going to come back we're going to have a look at him in his robot mode and do some more comparisons Okay, so here we go. As you can see, he's back in his robot mode. Quick apologies for no transformation process on this video. As I said, there will be a separate video uploaded. This is for two reasons. One, to keep the main length of this video down and not to spoil it for people who want to experience that first transformation process themselves for the first time. So I haven't put any of the weapons on there yet. That's because what I need to do now is just show you as well how you can store all of these in his base mode. So what we've got here on this side, again, you've got the same sort of cutouts there. You can see so we can take the sword and we can pop this into there like so and that'll hold it in place and then on this side we've got again two small cutouts fold over the shield part and this will fit in there as well and of course we already know that this will attach on the top so we'll leave them there for now and we'll focus our attention on the main cab and again this is great look at it the colors on it are absolutely brilliant i'm going to hopefully see if i can get yeah there we go the light piping to work on the back of his head brilliant it just again something simple very simple just you know keep all the back of the head the same translucent color and it just makes it work beautiful use of all the different two-tone grays we've got the silver the gray the silver um and again the color scheme just really works there's the emblems there we have of course if i can open up this carefully yes we do we do have of course the other matrix can i get it out let's see if i can yep there we go and there is the matrix hollow inside that side. That's just so you can clip it over. And of course, the little cutout. If you wanted to, you could, in fact, obviously put it in his hand like so. And he can, of course, hold onto it. I'm just going to put it back in here, though, just for safekeeping, just for now. And like so, there we go. So let's have a look at him. Head sculpt, beautiful. Love it. Again, look at the way the blue is just reflecting. Fully rotational, up and down, full nodding, everything these um there's quite a lot of movement on the shoulders even though it's a bit restricted by these huge i suppose artillery on the top you can as well in fact get this open it out it's just a shame that these there's no more detail on that that would have been much much better if they'd have perhaps had just a little bit more detail on it because it looks great with all the arsenal and all the weapons but it just needed a little bit more detail on it perhaps front grill there obviously this was all a faux chest this was all folded in because there is of course the back of the cab you can see not too many gaps really there's just a few there maybe they could fill them in in fact i think i've seen a a 3d printing company do some already articulation wise though you can see you've got a waist swivel the knee legs side front out knee rock ankle tilt bend everything you would expect even wrist swivel again everything you'd expect with a new toy and looking fantastic so let's do a couple of quick comparisons before we put some weapons on him so there is of course the original owner of the mold 
And as I said, I like this mold. I was actually quite impressed by how sturdy and robust it is. But I really think that this guy, um, it, the version of it just looks better. I'm looking at this now and this looks, it's got to be my eyes deceiving me, but it looks bigger. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the colour the color scheme on it that is playing an optical illusion on me, but it looks bigger. But obviously it's not. Um, with regards to the rest of the comparisons, there's this side. And if we spin it to the back, it is, it's just an exact redeco. Obviously, they've changed the back of the head there to make the translucent part, which makes it look so, so much better. But otherwise, again, liking it, really am. Let's just move him out of the way for a second. Let's take these accessories then and let's see what we can do. Because, of course, there's a load of different things that you can do. And this is, again, I keep saying this, but I do mean it. I love the fact that with these accessories, you can do loads of things. Granted, some of the ones like this, are a little bit useless but that is legitimately in the instructions as well and i can't imagine ever anybody going to be displaying it like that however because you've got these on the side you could put it on the side this would look surely way better on the side there we go that would look pretty good um, and of course you can see you can do the same on the legs as well anywhere where you've got these five millimeter ports you can attach this you could also of course put it in his hand if you wanted to like a gun like a twin barrel gun there or if you didn't want to store it, or let's just say you'd put the trailer away for storage, but you wanted to keep the weapon, you could store this on the back, on the roof, like so. So loads of uses for that. And of course, let's have a quick look here at the sword. And again, beautiful use of the translucent plastic. This can go in one hand, he says. Brand new figure, brand new toy. Sometimes they take a little bit of... That's better, bit of force to get it in. Same with the shield. We can fold this out now and actually use it for what it's intended to. All we've done is put it away, to be honest. And you can see that looks good. That's pretty much the opposite of what I've just done with the original one here. Yeah, it is. It's the opposite. They can have a game of <laughs> tennis now or something. Um, but you can, of course, you can combine these weapons. I'm sure you can. Let's have a look. I'm sure you can get the shield and the sword. Let's have a quick look. So if we take this and it looks like what we're going to do we're going to fold this down and i think we can attach is it here as well or is it on the other side there it is on the other side of course it is it's going to go in here slot in there in fact you can slot it in what am i talking about it's easier if you slot it in like so there you go now you've got a huge giant sword there might be other ways of doing that to be honest but i think no. Nope. That's yeah, or you can also slide it a little bit lower. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what we can do. I think it's something to do with this tab here, to be honest. Um, and again, maybe you could put it in other ways. Can you fit that tab in there? I'm just trying things off the cuff while I'm here because I'm just seeing all these holes appear, and maybe you can do more things. But now, if I'd have pushed that much lower, like it was, again, that's one way you can do it. You can also attach these little tabs that's the way it all clipped in you can see but i think it suits him much much better to have one in each hand and again i just i keep saying it i think it looks good i think this color scheme works i think if you've got to choose choose between the two maybe go for this one just purely because the color scheme seems to work that much better anyway Will you be purchasing as well or would you think the Laser Optimus Prime version is better? Let me know in the comments if you'll be getting either or have both or have no interest in this mould at all. Let me know guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.